You may recall years ago when recordable DVDs were all the rage, there were basically two different kinds of blank DVDs. There was DVD-R and DVD-plus-R. And you may have been wondering all these years, what was the difference? I'm going to explain that in this video. Basically, the only real difference between DVD-R and DVD-plus-R is in the formatting and how the data is read on the disc. Now, DVDs in general are great for repeated playings. They don't wear out, even if you play them hundreds and hundreds of times. And as many of you know, the storage capacity of a blank DVD was 4.7 gigabytes. Now, the DVD-R was developed by Pioneer and released in 1997, and the DVD Plus R was introduced by Sony and Philips in 2002. Now, back then, the problem was certain DVD drives could only handle DVD-R or DVD Plus R. Many of them couldn't handle both. But the good news is nowadays, most DVD drives are hybrid, so they can very easily take either dash R or plus R without any difficulty. Now, the biggest difference between DVD-R and DVD plus R is how the data is located on the disc. DVD-Rs use something called land preppets, which are basically tiny little marks in the grooves of the disc. And these little marks are used to, to dictate the position of the laser. Now, DVD plus Rs don't have these land preppets. They measure what is called wobble frequency as the la laser tries to read the disc. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is wobble frequency? Well, it's rather complex and can't be explained very, very quickly, but in a nutshell, it is commonly used as a synchronization source to achieve a constant linear velocity while writing a disc. Now, I was one of those people who back in the day used to own a standalone DVD recorder. Now, the brand of my DVD recorder was ILO. Now, this was the in-house electronics brand of Walmart. Now, <laughs> this thing never really worked that great from day one. Uh, it was very cheap and, you know, there's that old saying, you get what you pay for. That certainly applied to this ILO DVD recorder. Uh, it was rather jumpy and very unpredictable, and often it would ruin discs. Now, I did notice that it only took DVD plus R's, and usually only the Sony brand. So if I stuck to Sony DVD plus R's, it seemed to work okay. But if I ever attempted any other brands, it just didn't work. So I'm wondering, do you have experience with a standalone DVD recorder? If so, let me know what brand you used or currently use. Uh, of course, many of us, if we still burn DVDs, we just do it on a DVD burner in our computer. But even that's becoming sort of the way of the past and you see less and less DVD burners out there. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you can join us again next time. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I post new tech reviews every week, and the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.